Pyro just got a lot more scary thanks to Shinyan, who not only sets everyone on fire, but also uses rock and roll to defeat her enemies. Just like few other characters in the game, Shinyan comes equipped with a skill that provides a shield, and one of the most important things to understand about her shield is that it becomes more powerful if you can achieve the higher levels of it. When you activate her skill, she releases a small pyroblast around her that will level up her shield depending on the amount of enemies you hit. If it's no one or just one enemy, then you get the first level, and if you hit two enemies, you get the second level. Finally, you can achieve the third level by hitting three enemies. Now, the only difference between the first two levels is that the shield strength is bigger, meaning it can soak up more damage, but on the final level, your shield starts to emit pyro damage regularly. Luckily, the number of enemies you need to hit in order to level up your shield becomes smaller, thanks to Shin Yen's first passive talent, which basically allows you to get the third level of the shield by only hitting two enemies or more. So to simplify, activate the shield in front of as many enemies as possible, and enjoy the most powerful version of the shield you can have. But keep in mind, the moment you use her skill, you will get a pyro status on her, similar to how Barbara gets wet status, so be careful of enemies, especially the ones that can trigger melt or vaporize on you. Now if that's not enough, Shin Yen or anyone who's under her pyro shield will increase their physical damage by 15%, which makes characters like Razor very happy about it, and it's all thanks to her second passive talent. Finally, her elemental burst is one giant rock and roll performance, where she will initially create a physical damage blast, followed up by a pyro explosion that sets enemies on fire. Now it's important to know that the physical portion of the damage is much higher than pyro, which acts more of as a utility, much like you would have Razor attack with these bursts where his claws deal additional electro damage. And as you can guess, if you want to have your burst deal more damage than usual, make sure you still have your shield active to use the additional physical damage increase. All in all, this rock star comes blazing in with her burst, and she definitely doesn't feel like your typical damage dealer, and rather focuses on utilizing the defensive nature of shields as her weapon of choice. When it comes to team building, there's quite a few options you have with Shin Yen. If you're interested in trying her out as your main damage dealer, then you want to focus on utilizing her physical damage, and there's no one better at helping you achieve this than the good old combo of Electro and Cryo teammates, who will provide you with Superconduct to reduce the enemy's physical resistance by 40%. You can also get a second Pyro teammate and enjoy the benefits of Pyro Resonance. Shin Yen can also work as support damage dealer, since her elemental skill provides a shield, and her burst deals instant damage without needing her to stay on the field. So you can quickly swap her in, do all her Rockstar stuff, and swap back to your other teammates. Although, she is a bit unique since she doesn't deliver the strongest pyro attacks, but instead could be used as either someone to break enemy shields or act as an initiator for elemental reactions. Still, she can offer excellent split support between physical and pyro attacks. It's also important to note that Shin Yan is one of the few characters that get drastic improvements depending on her constellation level. For example, her second constellation makes her burst attacks physical damage always be a critical strike, so if you're using her for support burst damage, you wouldn't have to worry about critical rating and focus on stacking her critical damage and attack instead. Now she also can reduce enemies physical resistance by 15% with her elemental skill once she gets to constellation 4. But the biggest change she will have will be on constellation level 6. Her charged attacks will consume less stamina and she gets additional boosts in damage from her defense stat. And the only other thing that defense boosts is her shield strength, making her into an interesting damage dealer that focuses on spinning charged attacks. Also, if you're interested to discover more team builds as we keep testing Shin Yen, make sure to follow us on Twitter, link in the description. Now with the release of Shin Yen comes the Unforged Claymore, and this is definitely one of the most coolest looking weapons available in the game, and it's no surprise it's almost handcrafted for Shin Yen. Although characters like Noel could also find it useful, and in fact, since we're getting quite a few characters that provide shield for the teammates, any of the Claymore users can greatly benefit from this weapon as well. And as for Shin Yen, this is an excellent weapon to have, and it only makes her all attacks stronger, although there are still good alternatives out there, like the prototype Aminus or even White Blind. And one weapon that works especially well on her is the Serpent Spine from the Battle Pass, since if she's going to be the main damage dealer, her shield will keep her safe from getting damaged and not losing the buff from the weapon. So to keep it short, Shin Yen works both really well as main damage dealer and support, especially if you can get her second constellation unlocked, or even better, the fourth one, but even without the constellations, she is still a very fearsome foe for many, and the unique nature of utilizing physical damage, not only with her basic attacks but also with her burst, puts her in a very strong position. Probably the first thing many players will notice is that Shin Yen is very similar to Razor. Each of them put a strong focus on physical damage, but the difference between the two is that Shin Yen can also work as support character thanks to her elemental burst. She also seems to synergize quite well with Zhang Li, since they can buff each other with their shields, not to mention other characters like Noel or Dayona can also do the same. The other important assets Shin Yen brings into battle is her pyro element, which can take care of those annoying Fatui cryo gunners, as well as provide consistent burst damage or even boost your physical damage 
damage dealers if you're using her as support. Overall, even if Xin Yan appears to be a defensive character because of her pyro shield, she's actually more or less focused on squeezing out as much damage as possible, so if you're going to build her as your main damage dealer, then she's basically going to need a team that supports her, especially for those superconduct elemental reactions. And if you're interested in seeing her support capabilities, then she will bring the utility of both physical and pyro attacks, which is quite a deadly combination. Finally, since she is a pyro character, she currently belongs to one of the strongest elements in the game due to how Spiral Abyss favors this particular element, so if you're interested in a powerful teammate that can offer shields, physical bursts, and the utility of pyro, then Xin Yan might just be the character for you. Also, your Barbara won't have to sing solo again. Enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification on as well as gently press the like button. Also, check out more of our videos recommended for you and follow us on Twitter for up-to-date news. Thank you for watching us.